Alrighty, <clears throat> let's kick this thing off, shall we? How's everybody doing? What's up, Marcus? What's up, Maddie? What's up, Icy Pepper Pro? We're doing it. We're back in Portal World. I'm happy to be back. I needed a little bit of a break from the relentless mods, both good and bad. It's it's tricky because Gamma Energy was the last one, and I think Gamma Energy was real good, and I think we just spent too much time in it, you know? Like, it, it feels like it got old kinda quick, and it's probably because that mod came out, what, long time ago, right? Like, close to when Portal came out. And it, it felt like it was, it could have been an amazing thing back then. But now that we have so many great mods to look at, uh, yeah, it just seemed like, it just seemed like it, it you know, it, it was good. And it still is. It's not a bad mod. Anyways, uh, what's going on? It's mon- it's- it's Wednesday. It feels like a Monday, gonna be honest. But it's all good. So, yeah, I guess we could just start, right? We got- we got menu music, or at least we did. You can do this within one stream? That's what you think. Alright, well then let's kick it off. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF. Welcome back to Portal! We're playing Portal 2 Workshop Maps. This is The Intruder, and we'll see what this one has for us. It said, I haven't looked much about it. In fact, I was told specifically, don't look into this one before playing it. But I know that there's some Half-Life textures here. We've got an interverse security breach in one of the test areas. You all enjoyed a good chocolate at Cave's oh boy. when I started monitoring for parallel universe invasions. You all tried to stop me when I tried to garnish your wages to build defenses against said invasion. Succeeded, too. So, I hope you're happy got a bogey from Earth-1 loose on the premises. Go write a letter to the Better Business Bureau about that, why don't you? Love it. Actually, don't. <laughs> okay, we got some Cave Johnson lines, good stuff. We are playing with RTX enabled. You can see the reflections added, even though this is Portal 2. We have added some aftermarket RTX. One of 89, and you say I'm gonna finish this in one stream and there's 89 test chambers? I don't think so. All right, we got a launcher. And we have invasions happening from other universes. Where's the light coming from? That room? That room. I don't know, it's weird. It has to be that one. It's oddly bright though. Okay, do lasers hurt? They do! Interesting. What, what are we? Let's look at ourselves here. We're amorphous blob and the lasers hurt? That's not right. Either give us a body or make lasers go through us. Those are your only options as a mod maker. Okay, I forgot what we're doing here. We are looking around. We probably need this to go over here. Let's try that. That gets us a cube. Ah. Ow, of course it falls and shoots us with a laser of all the ways, honestly. Okay, is this actually going through this? It is. So what if we don't do that? What if we get this laser cube? Um, can I, can I have, can I have that? If I just, thank you. I was way too lazy to go over there and get it myself. All right, if we do something like this, wait, if I reactivate that, it's probably gonna not be what we want. So let's do the, excuse me, let's do this. Um, now what? We need it to go up here. So I think what we need to do is shine this not into nowhere. We need to shine this maybe straight into that. Then we can put the blue one up here maybe? Oh, ooh, we need it to come out at a diagonal. So let's get that going. Let's, I almost chopped my feet off with a laser. Very good. What if we go, ow, ow. What if we go this way? Does that do it? Ow! It's pretty close. Maybe there. Ah, no, that's the wrong way. Maybe there? Ow! A little to the right. There it is. Boom. Ah, stay. Okay. Okay. So we're doing okay, but now we need that cube to come with us. Don't know if we need to launch it or what. What does this do? This does the lift. And this, there's an aerial faith plate over there? Huh. That is interesting. There's also that. Now what do we do about this? We can drop this bridge. 
We need the cube to be over here with us. So we need the cube to be on the faith plate. But then how do we enable this? Maybe we can just... Okay, hang on. Why is there something there? Is that just a texture thing? Usually when you see that panel, it means put a portal right there. I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to go launch this guy. Oh, I can't launch it from here, though. Because I need to cross that bridge. Oh, no, I need to be up these stairs. Hmm. Oh, once I get to here, though, I can put a portal here. Now we can get up the stairs. Then... We... Alright, that's on me. That's okay, let's do this. Um, that's a little weird. Okay, we can go this way. Nope, go back, go back. Nope, not that far. Go in a little bit, and back. Okay, we made it. Alright, now we put one there, and what, here? A little further over, here? Oh, come on now. Come on now. Not gonna do it? Oh, we can do it here. Oh, amazing. Can we do this? How does that help us, though? That doesn't really help us. Hmm. Hang on while I just sit here and think. We're so close, though. Come on, now. We're so close. FYI, this map gets interesting at the end of the test. Okay, great. Marcus, welcome back. If you put RTX, you'll regret it in the end, unless your computer is hecka strong. This isn't based on RTX. This isn't based on the game portal with RTX. Um, it just has the... whatever it's called. Reshade RTX. Yes, technically just RT, not RTX, but whatever. Okay, so we need... Ow! What do we need to do here? What do we need to do? How do we get over there with the cube also coming with us? Now, there's no... There's no places to put a portal up here, right? I'm not, like, missing out on something. And I don't think we can fling all the way to here. From there. Maybe. I mean, it'd be... I just don't think we're... It's far enough down to do a fling. I don't know if we need to stand over here. We could respawn the cube there. Hmm. Hmm. This portal panel, that portal panel might be useful, especially when it lines up in a portal convenient, in a portal convenient spot. It lines up there. Oh, hang on. Uh, let me get this bridge back. Okay, so if we do this, then we still have the cube. And that enables us to hit this and also have the cube on a surface that we can put a portal on so we can grab it from somewhere else. But that's not a portalable surface. Oh, wait. Oh, I bet it flips over into a portalable surface. Tricky. That's That was the wrong thing to do. Let's try this again, but we'll do the right portal this time. Okay, we need to... Let me do this one first. And then we'll do this one. And then we just need to run and catch it, right? Amazing. Okay, then we can stand here. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. We can go around now. Now, we need another cube. We need two cubes. Which means we probably need... Um, 
Hello? Did I miss something? Did I take a lot of drugs before I went into this test chamber? That was interesting to say the least. Okay, now how do we get this cube back over there? So we need to go put this one on that button. Because we can respawn this one up there in the end. Oh, let's do... Let's do, um... Hmm. Do we need to respawn this cube now that we have this guy? I think we do. Yeah, let's just respawn this one. We'll come back around. Didn't get zapped this time. Okay, then we can do this. Grab this. Okay, I'll get it myself. What's up, Portal Gaming? Welcome in. We got this. This and this. Look at that, we're getting better at this already. This and this. Interesting. Okay, now we need to go here. We need to... Use this cube to get up there. Then we need to go over here so that we can shoot a portal at that and this and this. And then we need to grab it in midair. Um, hello? Hello? What is happening? Are these time slips or something? This is crazy. I'm a little concerned. It looks like the Vorgons have something to do with this, right? Isn't that like when time stops, it's either G-Man or the Vorgon? This is cool though. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely the Vorgon. You can hear them. But where are they? Ooh. We're actually Gordon Freeman. All that time away from Black Mesa was actually an aperture. Oh, it's so laggy. Oh, you were right about the ray tracing. It's so laggy in here. Okay, it's fine. Maybe the game is just in slow-mo, and that's why it seems like our mouse has a delay, because it's definitely slow. Oh, what is happening? What did we just turn off? Why is there a hose in a basin in a room that doesn't have a hose spigot? That's weird. It's so creepy and atmospheric. Maybe I shouldn't have turned that lever off. But I don't think the door would have opened if we didn't. Are they talking about me? Okay. That's weird. Maybe we can go. No, nope, that way's closed. Well, we have our portal gun back. I think we just finished the test chamber. That was so weird. What's going on? Um, okay. This map gets interesting. Bro solving tests in the most unintentional way ever. The portal panel might be useful. Got it, got it, got it. Found the secret. Well, it was intentional, that's true. It's not like an Easter egg. Yeah. Um, you lost control. Alright, no spoilers. Thank you guys for not spoiling anything. Alright, guess we'll move on. Nothing weird is happening. Wait, we're... 
Back in it? Again? We just need to solve it again? Wait, but it's slightly different. Because that used to be over a little. What is different about this room now? That's up there. Why is that up there? This launches... Everything's a little bit different now. This is over more. There's still stairs here though, so let's go grab this. Okay, we still got the stairs here. Come on, let me on. Okay, there's no way to bring the cube with us up the stairs. So, what we're gonna have to do instead... Is... Um, we can do something like this. And then we can have this and this. Uh... Excuse me, that's not quite... That's not quite it! Okay, do we need to point it a little bit to the left first? With this cube? That should do it, right? Oh, a little too much to the left. Okay, how about right there? Split the difference. That's not technically going through the portal, but it's fine, it's close enough! It's close enough for science! Wow, everything's weird. This is so weird. It's so weird. Okay, we do this. This is the same. How are we gonna get up there? Okay, we need to put orange and blue. Okay. No time dilations yet. So far. Alright, now... Do we need to do a jump to get out of there? We can. Like if we do this, and this. Is it just the same thing but a little harder? Oh. Why is this a grate? That's weird. I'm gonna save? Oh, I can save. Thank goodness. Okay, we get ourselves this cube. And then we need to go do the same thing again, right? Let's preemptively put this cube up there. That's fine. Stay, please. Then we can go respawn this cube. Let me just stay here as long as possible. We got that cube now. Um, well, that's as long as possible. We have done it. Uh, let's get this going here. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Oh, it's the wrong way. But maybe it's not the wrong way. Maybe we can put that here again. Oh, it's definitely the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this is good. Now... I think I'm doing it right. I think I need to get up here. Use this cube to get up this elevator. And then I need to do a launch catch. We just need to respawn this cube now. Oh, that's why. Okay, so... Oh, we probably could have done it from here, as long as we respawned the cube. But we do this. I'm gonna save. We need to do a launch catch. You know... I don't know why. I just half expected... That, that would be different. Grab this guy. Is it gonna freeze here? No. Okay, then we need to do the same launch the other way with the cube. I don't like this at all. Well, there's the freeze! Ooh. Oh, it is the Vorgon! I knew it! What's that? Now we're observing the test. Where did... Where did the cube go that I was holding? What is happening? 
We're both the test observer and the test participant. Ooh, there's a big red button. I want to go push it. Hit me with the big red button. I want it. I want in. I want in. Ow! Oh, let me in. Let me let me push the button. That's just a monitor with no computer. Ow! Oh. All right, complex twenty-three B. Test analysis, elevator power, observation annex. I think we want elevator power. No, we can't open doors. Well, we can't open gates. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Why are we in old aperture now? This is so weird. Oh. Well, now we don't need to open the gate. Ha. Ha. Hopefully it's made of moon paint. It is? <laughs> this whole elevator shaft is moon paint. Alright, we probably need those. Let's just take them with us. Can we put one here? Yeah, let's just leave them there then. Okay, we put blue by it. So we... C can we go through here? Oh, I see. We're gonna need... Okay, so let's um... Because we're gonna turn on the generator and I'm assuming it's gonna electrify this area. So we just need to put these cubes in a line so that we can walk over them. No big deal. Okay. Oh, what's up, Levi? Welcome in. Hey, look. The thing that happened, happened. Alright, that's fine. We need to go there. Okay, we got ourselves an elevator working. Yeah, there we go. Now we can push the big red button. Well, it's like old aperture and new aperture combined, because this is a Portal 2 elevator. But that was definitely old aperture cubicles and stuff. Although, isn't it kind of like a big scientific corporation to have cubicles from the 50s? Like, I, I ex fully expect to go into NASA headquarters and there's it feels like you're in the 50s. Maybe NASA is aperture science. Maybe it's the Not Aperture Science Association. That's actually what NASA stands for. Hmm. Hmm, we're on to you, NASA. Oh. We've done this already. We just now have uncovered more of it. Do we always have to get back to the same office where we hear the guy talking? It's super weird. We're gonna go in here and get jumped. Will you just shut up and stop yelling and me? I'm listening. No, no, don't fire me. Listen, I, if anyone's gonna get out of here, it's me, okay? Am I that guy that's talking? Oh my. Where are we? Holy moly. What happened to all of Aperture Science? Where am I even supposed to be looking? I'm looking with the epic contrast. That's where I'm looking. This is nuts. Do we have to do it again? We're going to wake up back in the test chamber? Oh, kind of. Oh, maybe I was the breach. Oh, it was the G-Man. I want to see Cave Johnson versus G-Man. Oh, we're doing it again. Wait, what is this? This is like early development stuff. That's cool. This is cool. Alright, so we need to do a launch this time. Um, but... Oh, it's the same thing, but a little harder again. Okay, that's- this is fine. That's not what I meant to do. Let's try this and this. That's okay. Great. Let's grab the cube. This is funky stuff. Okay, let's just see what we're dealing with up here. Why is this glass here? That's so weird. Okay, so we need to go... This again, maybe. Pick it up. 
this? Like... Oh, there we go. I was like, something weird's happening. This thing popped up. Okay. Great. Yep, there's that. So a cube falls out of there and we need to throw it over here. But now we need this cube, so we need to do this. Same testing mechanics. Oh, not quite the same testing mechanics. Oh. Complex testing mechanics. That's fine, though. What a funky universe. Oh, what does that do? That flips this panel around. Why do we need to flip this panel around? We need this... to go... to here. Then we push the button. Then we need... Okay, we have to do it in one go. Got it. Okay. Oh, we need that one to not be done already. So let's respawn that one now. That one gets that out of the way of the beam. Then, let's spawn this cube and see if we can get it some anywhere else. Let's just put it, like, there. Okay, now we can do this, where we drop it there and there. Now we can get this cube here with us. Then... Oh, we need to be... Uh, no, then we need to get this one. We can do the same thing again. I think we need to be up there. Okay. This is kind of confusing. So now... Now what do we do? Because we can't- that's too far away for us to grab it now. So how do we get the cube up here? We need to use that... ...jump pad. Which means... We need to respawn... ...that cube in the middle of getting... ...the other cube up here? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need one cube up here. So that we can put a portal here and there and then just go get the other one. So as long as we have that cube with us... So I don't think I needed to do any of that. I think... I need... I think I just need... Maybe that's not far enough. That's why. I'm not going to be able to figure it out like this. So let me just respawn this guy and let's just see if this is enough. No, it's definitely not enough. So we need to be over there while we're up here. That doesn't make sense either. Hmm. Drops into there, comes out... Here. We need it to come out there. So we need... This one... To be on that button. Oh, that's... Wait. There's someone watching us. I didn't notice that before. Huh. Okay. Because we can respawn this one while this cube... <sighs> this is complicated, though, because we can only respawn this one... ...with... There is more than one way to make a fling. From there... ...goes up, and then flings. But we can't... Oh, we could jump with a cube. But if we're jumping with the cube, then we already have the cube up here, so that doesn't make sense. What happened to the graphics? Why is the game low quality? Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. 
We got put inside the puzzle maker. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, so we need to have that cube up there. So let's go back up here. Right, am I doing this right? And then we'll get this cube there. Then we'll stand here. Drop this out. Um, okay, that, I wasn't, I was too fast maybe? Let it go all the way through. Put blue here. Put this cube on this. We'll go up with it. Then... Then we need to be here. So if we make this cross this beam... Oh, then the stairs come up. So if we... Redirect that... Let's just say, before I start redirecting, because we I think I need this height. So let's do this. Let's, let's do this. I think maybe I'm trying to do it too fast. If we do this... Okay, that's kind of flying on its own now. So... Now we need to respawn that cube. Yeah, the, the momentum is set for that. It's still almost touching the ceiling. Then we need to go... Respawn this cube while that's in the air. Can we even do that? I'm gonna just save here. Okay, so right after it goes through, we do a portal here and here. And then we need to catch it in the exact right spot. That's tricky. Hang on. Okay, so I need this to be in a spot that's really recognizable. So if we move this to like here and here. Yeah, that's better. So. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, I'm, I'm thinking about it the right way. So if we put portal, portal, and then portal, portal. All right. After this time. Portal, portal. This seems overly complicated. This seems so complicated. Can you get the cube close to you? Maybe you need to go with it at a certain time. Go with the cube. I can't get it close to me here, though. I can't get this cube close to me. Let me let me reload. What's up, Adriana? Welcome in, Maddie. You know a way to cheese? No, nah, I want to. I want to solve it without cheesing it. But this already feels cheesy. Okay. So let's put these on the crosses. So if we go, let's say right after it goes to blue, right now. Oh, I missed it with the wrong cross. Mm. Okay, we go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's fine. Okay, they're on the crosses now. Let me save. And we'll go right after it goes into blue. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now we just do orange here, right? Or, or blue. That seems really janky. I don't know about this. Okay, but now we can do this. We can go put a portal here and grab this cube. And now we have them both. That was some really precise portal pl placements. And timing. I don't know if we were supposed to get in here. Sure feels like we weren't supposed to begin here. 
That was it. Oh my goodness. Wow, what a map. That was wild. He avoided cheese too many times. Ah, that placement though, right? In the end, that was tough portal placement. I like that. That was good. We we're the 2014th rating. Too bad we weren't the 2024th rating in 2024. Wow. That was wild. That was a great mod. I like that. I like the idea that some mods do, like this one, of, of making the same test chamber harder and playing it again. But there's a limit, right? You have to make it substantially more difficult so that you don't accidentally stumble into the same solution four times, right? Yeah, that's crazy. The stains of the Vorgons remain. Yes, they do. Yeah, also props for spelling Vorgon, right? You should come back to me with me in the facility. Oh dear. Oh dear. That was crazy. I like that a lot. And it took the whole stream, so that's that's good. When we solved it the first time, I was like, is that it? Is that it's is this gonna be a 10-minute stream? Alright. Sounds good. But then we did it again and I was like, is this gonna be a four-hour stream? How many times are we gonna replay this thing? So I wonder who it was that was watching us in the last chamber. I feel like it was supposed to be G-Man, but the texture didn't load right. Right? It would have made sense if G-Man was standing behind the glass, but like since it's uh, it, it loaded in as like a no body texture, I'm gonna pretend and believe in my heart that that was supposed to be G-Man. So, oh, it was Maddie. Maddie was standing in there. Solid. All right, well, that does do it for today. I didn't have anything else planned, so I'll look through the mods. I think I'm going to play Blue Portals because it's a, ma a map series. That'll be the next one, and then we'll see what happens. I really hope Viewfinder goes on sale soon. Oh, yeah, so we'll, we'll plan on Blue Portals. And then uh, if you guys want to go vote in the Trello board, though, please do. I think you just need a free Trello account, and then it'll let you vote. Um, and you guys can vote on what you want to see next. But yeah, all right, well... Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to keep up to date with what we're doing on the channel. And as always, I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.